you're looking for something else to make with pumpkin that's not pumpkin bread, let's try making pumpkin coffee cake with a streusel topping. There's two component components to this coffee cake. First is the actual cake itself, which has pumpkin and pumpkin spices inside. And then there's that crumble streusel topping, which is super rich um, with brown sugar. It's so good. First off, let's make that pumpkin coffee cake base with one cup of pumpkin puree, three quarters of a cup of granulated sugar, a tablespoon of pumpkin spice, two teaspoons of baking powder, a half teaspoon of salt, a quarter of a cup of vegetable oil, half of a cup of nonfat milk, two cups of all-purpose flour. And I don't remember if I mentioned, but it's two teaspoons of baking powder. Then once that's all mixed together, you don't even need a mixer. Just put that into a nine by nine or eight by eight baking dish that's been sprayed with nonstick cooking spray. Um, I'm using a glass pan here. You can use metal pan, whichever one that you want. Spread that out. It's a thick, sticky batter. And then we're gonna make the streusel topping. Now for the streusel topping, we're starting with unsalted butter that's been melted. We need a quarter of a cup of that. Then you'll add in a cup of packed brown sugar and a quarter of a cup of all-purpose flour along with a tablespoon of cinnamon. And I'm adding a pinch of salt here because I just feel like it kind of um, tempers out that sweetness. I mix that together with a fork. It's gonna be very crumbly. That's what it's supposed to be, it's streusel. Once it's all mixed together, then that's when we're gonna add it on top of our cake batter. The streusel is like, literally the best part of this coffee cake and yeah coffee cake doesn't actually have coffee in it um, in America we eat coffee cake for breakfast alongside a cup of coffee so if you're wondering where the coffee is uh, there isn't any because it's not a coffee cake it's a coffee cake you eat with breakfast then pour that streusel on top of the cake batter in the pan and then spread it out uh, just use your fingers to spread it into an even layer and once that is all spread out you're going to bake this um, at 350 degrees for approximately 35 minutes or until until the toothpick comes out clean. Once this bakes, um, you're gonna slice it and you're gonna serve it and each bite of that streusel or crumble with that cake, it's so rich and sweet and delicious. One bite and you're gonna be in the mood for fall. This freezes well too. You can freeze the whole thing and then just bring it out when it's time to serve or you can freeze slices from leftovers um, or easy grab and go breakfasts. You can see how moist that cake is. It's so delicious. Don't subscribe to my channel currently. Be sure to do so and keep watching for even more fall recipes.